Hey, are you a business owner, entrepreneur, or professional? If so, we want you to apply to be a featured guest on our show. My name is Adam Torres, and I host the Mission Matters series of podcasts. I've recorded over 3,000 episodes, and we are just getting started. How do you know if you'd be a good guest to be on the show? Well, only one way to find out, and that's to apply, but I'm going to let you in on a little secret. We want guests that have a story to tell, guests with a brand, a product, or a service that can benefit my audience of listeners. If this sounds like you, go to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. I'd love to talk to you and get to know more about your story. Again, head on over to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. All right, now let's get into the show. Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Business Podcast, your source for all things business. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Book to Apply. All right, so today I have on the show Micah McElveen, and he's founder and CEO over at Vapor Ministries. Micah, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. All right, Micah, so uh, excited to get into today's topic. So we're going to talk more about the mission and vision of Vapor Ministries. Uh, maybe just to get us started, uh, can you tell us a little bit more about your role in the entity? Yeah, so uh, my role as founder and CEO, um, I get to uh, lead uh, lead the teams, lead the charge uh, towards the, the, the vision. Fantastic. So what led you really to to found Vapor Ministries? Like, tell us a little bit of the story behind it. Well, I was actually found uh, face down in the water uh, dead. I had no heartbeat, no pulse, no body functions whatsoever. A stranger found me in the surf, uh, and uh, that's where I learned my mortality the brevity of life, that life is like a vapor. Um, it was a spin trip uh, that turned turned sour, turned south uh, when I hit a wave wrong. And uh, ultimately, I, I woke up in ICU um, a mm-hmm. few days later, and I had shattered four vertebrae in my neck. And, um, and, and really before that, uh, my aims, my goals were all self-centered. They were all about me and and doing doing life for myself and god really used that to open my eyes to the fact that life is short and at the end of the day uh, we can waste it or we can invest it and 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 he really put a passion inside of me to invest my life invest my vapor and so vapor ministries is actually a vehicle through which uh, people who have a passion to make a difference in the world can invest their short lives Wow, what an uh, what an amazing story! And when you talk about a life changing uh, experience, so you know what what is it? And obviously, you know um, it's going to be different for a lot of people. You know how how they come to faith and what how that works out in their lives. But um, like, what kind of things can you talk tell people that are out there right now that are thinking maybe they're searching and they're they're kind of like you know they're they're kind of trying to find their path because you obviously found like a you know had a very strong calling, um, which not everybody has that. Like, what kind of things would you tell them? Yeah, I would say foundationally um, that we are actually made on purpose for purpose. And so mm. I believe that we were uh, wired by um, a God who who loves us, cares for us, and, mm-hmm. and has hopes and dreams for us. And so um, as we as we navigate uh, life, um, sometimes we can get so caught up in our own game, our own thing, and we're not even open to the bigger picture. And uh, mm. so for me... Um, it took uh, um, God really uh, cracking in in a, a dramatic way. And so my encouragement uh, for for people that um, are really searching, like, why am I here? Who am I? Um, wh- what am I supposed to be doing? Is uh, I, I would encourage people to, to really um, look into um, God's word, the Bible, uh, and and really just seek, you know, ask ask God, like, what is it you have for me? What is it you want me to do? How how can my life be about more than myself? 
So a lot, lot of change going on in the world right now, obviously, with the COVID going on and, you know, this whole thing. Um, how has the ministry been affected um, over this kind of time period? Because obviously things have, things have changed. Yeah, so uh, first as an entity, what we do is we go into uh, third world environments, incredibly poor uh, places in, in Africa, Haiti. We buy property and then we build these centers. And the centers are places from which we're able to bring about social, spiritual, and economic impact, right? So you have uh, these centers in the middle of um, third world environments where the hubs of hope. And so covid has hit the whole world, and it's definitely hit our centers, hit our communities. So really what we did was we took the services that people would typically get um, on site, on location, and we just turned them into mobile services. Um, and fortunately, uh, partners that have supported Vapor and then even our own micro businesses like our thrift stores, uh, those those have continued to do well. And so we've been able to actually advance and fund outreach. So like as of November 1 this year, for instance, uh, we've been able to serve over 46 million cups of cold water, serve 1.6 million meals, wow. uh, provide health services to over 215,000 people. So COVID has affected people, has affected us, uh, mm -hmm. and, and our posture was we just need to pivot, adjust how we deliver those services, but actually mm -hmm. accelerate output um, as long as we have resources to do so. And, and so far, God's been gracious. Wow, what an amazing story and what a way to, um, I mean, you hear about a lot of pivots, right? And so pivoting for good is not one that you hear every single day. I mean, obviously, we pivot to survive, to do a lot of different things, but really to, as you mentioned, to use the resources that God's provided to for more good. I mean, it's just what an amazing story. Uh, so, Micah, I hear that you have a book coming out in 2020 for all my audience that have been with me for a long time. They already know, number one, I love promoting authors and getting their words out. Um, and I love helping authors really, you know, spread their message. So uh, what can you tell me about, about the book project so far? Yeah, so it's actually going to be called Pathway to Purpose, and um, it's kind of really, uh, you know, I guess, 25 years in the making. And we're, what it does is it really takes it, – um, it's, it's leveraging the story, this, the, the, the life-to-death story, um, me breaking my neck, that whole deal. But it's, really, it's, not, it's designed not to be really about me. It's the, the, the point is to actually use the story, the journey – to help people as they navigate this life, how how can they um, find purpose bigger than themselves? And even through trial, pain, and suffering, instead of that um, taking them off course or taking them into dark places, like how can how can there be a pathway uh, that actually will help help people get to the end of life and and find that they they invested it versus wasted it? So. So we're we're working on that right now, um, and we're excited to to put out a tool um, that is meaningful uh, that will help people find hope, find encouragement, and and ultimately, um, you know, help people walk into their their full calling. There's there's nothing greater uh, than to at the end of the day know that um, you function today in tune with the very purpose for which you were created. And so yeah, so hopefully that book can can serve people in that way. Wonderful. So, Micah, obviously we're going into 2021. We know where we know where 2020 has been, uh, and we know that you have a book coming out in 2021. 20, uh, so as we kind of head into this new year, so when we're recording this, we're in mid-December. By the time it's out, I think it'll be out before New Year's. Um, normally it's about two weeks or so before we release um, episodes. Uh, so any kind of message you have to the, to the listeners going into this new year and, you know, this this new um, you know uh, year, whether we have COVID still, whether we don't have it, but either way, um, even if, you know, magically COVID disappeared and all some of these things happened, then um, there's still going to be a rebuilding process, right? Any kind of message that you'd have the listeners and just kind of going into this new year? Yeah, I would just say uh, there are so many things that, that come at us in life that um, if we're not careful, we can we can get distracted by all the noise, by all the challenge. Um, and and I think that the encouragement that I would offer people is uh, once you get clarity on on things that really matter, um, 
make sure you're able to stay focused on that, keep pressing towards that, keep advancing meaningful mission. Um, and while we have to pivot and have to adjust uh, circumstantially, um, if if you're locked into something that is that is essential, is important, don't lose sight of it uh, while you, um, you know, make the adjustments needed to stay afloat and turn the corner. So, yeah, I would just encourage um, find purpose and then stay on that path. Fantastic. Well, Micah, if somebody is listening to this right now and they want to follow up because they want to learn more about Vapor Ministries and your work and, and obviously to follow up and keep and keep track of the book, um, what's the best way for them to do that? Yeah, so you can uh, follow me at uh, Micah McElveen uh, on Instagram. Uh, the ministry that I work with is at Vapor Ministries, and so you can follow us on Instagram there. Um, or VaporMinistries.org. Um, that's a friendly way to find out more about the ministry as well. Wonderful. Well, Micah, it's been great having you on the show today. Really appreciate you coming on and sharing more about you, the, um, the mission behind what you're doing over at Vapor Ministries and uh, also, you know, just all the good work you're doing. I feel like it's a great success story in terms of how you're helping people, your pivot to help even more people and use resources properly and just to be really a blessing as you've been blessed. So appreciate that. And to the audience, as always, uh, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, uh, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, especially if you're a first-time listener, I want you to be a return listener. I have more great guests coming up for you shortly, so definitely don't want you to miss out on that. And, uh, Micah, thanks again for coming on the show. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for having me.